Yo, know, this is like, this is like pure apple juice. So I feel like, who used to drink these? Dwayne Wayne. Uh, uh, and on Martin. On Martin, oh, they time. always had them. So yeah, like this is vintage, if you will. Look, this is how you do the nay-nay for the continental drift. <laughs> this is how you do the nay-nay for the continental <laughs> My favorite subject is mostly math because a uh, multiplication, I love multiplication. That's like my favorite math subject. And um, I want to learn more about division. I don't know division that much. My favorite TV show is, well, I have like, I don't know how many. Well, I have, what? there's a few on Cartoon Network, Steven Universe, Tea Time is Go, um, The Powerpuff Girls, and Uncle Grandpa. I don't like watching baby shows. I feel like I'm too old for that. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like you know all the characters. <laughs> my favorite song is Genie in a Bottle. Not my mom's. I have one that um, I heard of. Well. She doesn't like the Christina Aguilera <laughs> version. Who's the original? Yeah, she likes I, the I like, cover. I like um, the Karen Cameron. <laughs> I am eight years old. I turned eight five months ago. <laughs> I have kinky hair and I have like a lot of hair so I would say my hair is kinky. Kinky curly hair. I like it. I have four a hair and um it's kinky, kinky curly. That's the two how what I think and my mom thinks. I'm not embarrassed or anything. I like vlogging in public and stuff. Um, vlogging in public is super fun because um, nobody like cares or anything. Like every time when I look at people and they're like vlogging or something, I feel like they're like thinking that um, we are taking pictures for like memories when we grow up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Right. Yes, we did one. Another like, like um other uh another one a long time ago, and you can go see that one. Just click right. I don't know. Just click right here if you want to see our old return. But yeah, um, I think I want to do a new one tour. Me and Sky are obsessed with it. It's like everything, like the bench. We have a bench on our thing. Oh my god, we love sitting on there. <laughs> but yeah, I love my pretty room. It's super fun to like. You, like, we even have chairs and they're like super. <laughs> it's like so designed. <laughs> my birthday is January 19th. If I'm eight right now, what year was I born? So put that in the comments below. Well, um, it was because it was too demanding in school. And it was like we had to do it like five days in a row. But it was because like we had to like sometimes we were late. And it was like so hard because we were scared to be late. And I don't like being late. And um, it's, we want to go back this summer because we have like enough time. It's like free. No school. No nothing. Just we just can go to gymnastics. So yeah. Um, a whole bunch of fun things that I like to do is ride my scooter, swimming, watching TV, vlogging, helping mom cook, um, riding. Did I already say riding my scooter? Roller skating, gymnastics, like grocery shopping, and the the most fun thing of them all is helping. My my mom a lot, like cooking, cleaning, and all that. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's fun doing it with you. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> earlier, um, while we were grocery shopping, um, I had the list. I was like, hmm, 
and I should probably do this. So I would drew I love you, mommy, and then I drew a picture of her. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Um, after we were done with the grocery list, I did this. I drew a picture. I put I love you, mommy, and I drew a picture of her. <laughs> My favorite part of Sky is that she's funny. <clears throat> she's playful. And she is super loving. She like loves everyone. Aww. And she's super cute. <laughs> super cuddly. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do some um me and Sky questions. So Sky randomly decided to come in. Yes. Um my favorite my favorite I love Taylor because she's my sister. And she she loves me, and I like when we play together, like when we play Minecraft, and um, and she will always care for me, and she will share with me. Yes, I'll always stand up for her. Like she said, when there, she had a boy, I was like, why would anybody ever bully her? She's so cute and sweet. So I had to stand up for her. I look like Mama. She looks like Dad. Skylar, what do you think? Who do you look like? Huh? Tell them. I think I look like mom. She's just saying that because she loves her so much. But, uh, Mom, every... do I look like you? Yes, I think that you both look like both of us equally. I want to be a doctor because I, I care about people and I want to help people because people, people, um, like when you make friends with people, it's like fun to make friends. And like, um, Sky's birthday is April 28th. 28th. My birthday is January 18th. Daddy's is November 9th and my mom is January 30th. My favorite thing to do with mommy is like to cuddle with her. And I like cooking with her, and I like, and I like watching movies with my mommy, and I like, like when we go to the park, and I like to like watch movies with daddy. I like to watch. Sometimes, it, um, I like, um, sometimes I might stay with daddy and watch the game with him, and I like watching daddy play games. Cool, Taylor. What's your favorite thing to do with daddy? Um, I like. Playing like when we play games sometimes, like he's like a monster and we try to run away from him, and then he like tries to catch us and then he tickles us. <laughs> and just this is what we call it chicken, chicken. like chicken <laughs> fingers, chicken fingers. <laughs> so, what does daddy say to you? Um, sometimes we're like, um, we're like, daddy, I want some chicken, and um, it's like we're saying that we want him to cook some chicken. <laughs> but really it's just tickles. Yeah. That's our new way to say give me some chicken. Chick. Oh, well, I'm out of school now, but um I'm gonna still go to Chipman when I go back to school. No, you're gonna go to Prince Mommy I have Chipman still? I haven't decided. So, <laughs> well she already I'm, 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 she I'm, already turned her into the least for both of us. What grade are you going to? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to first grade because I was like so pre K kindergarten and then first grade then second grade third grade. Oh grade. right. Okay. Taylor, what grade are you going to? Third grade. I'm super excited. I would describe myself as a fashionista. Um, a little bit like a tomboy <laughs> because I I do not like skirts. No, no, I do really not like skirts. She just wears um pants like boys do. I, I. What if, what if, a, what if dad thought that he, he had pants but it was actually a skirt. He put it on and he was like, wait a minute, this is a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> he answered the pink. question that somebody asked, <clears throat> what's my favorite thing about um Sky? I. She's a comedian. <laughs> That's super cute. Um, Wait, can you think that I'm that I'm I think that I'm lovable and um I'm a fashionista. Like I dress Barbie is good. And um when I grow up, I think I'm gonna be a fashionista because I like, like oh, dress. I, I do you I, like I, dresses? I, 
Yeah, but we're penciled it. Now we just sang it. Oh, God. <laughs> um. Go on, face, face. I would say That's between uh, 10 and 11. Oh, my God. I'm almost a 10. No, you're already 10. What size shoe does mommy wear? A four. <laughs> a kid size. Yeah, she's still a kid. She always got wears the kid's foot blocker. Don't you think that question when I get here? <laughs> <laughs> a afro, a puff, a bun, a messy bun. Oh my god. Twist out, braids, puff, a afro. Because my mommy made an afro and it was so cute. No, beautiful. Favorite. Um, a, a, a bun. That's your favorite? You're supposed to only have one. And favorite. twist. I think that's enough. And... Okay, next question. My favorite part about vlogging is like when we go to the park, I have films. I used to go to the park. Wait, when we go down the slide, when we swing on the swing, when we go down, like, like, when we, like, um, like when she, like, spells Filmed us in the pool, like we did today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all good. Well, yeah, right. All right, I think that's enough questions. No. That was a lot of questions. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I mean, we knew each other from uh, high school, and then. Uh, she left for the military. My mom seen her at a funeral, at her grandfather's funeral, and told me that she was a beautiful young lady. My mom was like, Yolanda, you remember Yolanda Ringo? I'm like, yeah, she's like, she's a beautiful young lady. So, after that, after my mom planted that seed, I started seeking her. Like, I was like looking for her. And then I finally saw her at Kina's house. Cause I don't party, I don't know if, People don't know this about me, but I really don't like to go out. Like, I really don't like to do anything. And, and it dawns on me right now, because Shelton, shout out Hawk, he was trying to get me to go to the party that night. I, I didn't want to go. I was going to sit in the house, and I went to the party, and I ran into Yolanda. And <clears throat> two kids and engagements and houses and all that good stuff later, here we are. Communication. I have to communicate because it uh, you you can talk about feelings and all that stuff because women are very very emotional and and men can be not so emotional but we're emotional too but it's not like uh, outward we're more like inward with ours but women are real emotional so just listening to her listening to you. Can I say you? I feel like I'm, but listening, listen to your woman. Oh, you look beautiful. You look cute. Mm. You want me to start over? Yeah. Uh, no, you can keep going. No, I'm talking about the first question. No. Because I had the glare in my glasses. It doesn't though. matter. You can just say, sorry, there was a glare. Just... She told me to take my glasses off because I had a glare in my in my glasses, so. What was the question? Um, the healthy relationship. Yeah, communicate, communicate, listen to her. You're never going to win an argument. You, you, you're not going to win an argument. So it's best to just find that common ground. Um, and just love, love. Make sure you love, man. Just love, get to know each other, enjoy each other. Life is short. Me, I'm going to... Like sometimes I, I'm I'm for the camera time and sometimes I'm not. Like earlier, like I was I I was like dead tired, so I had to really go to sleep. But that's because I've been doing so much. So I mean, daily is fine with me. Whatever y'all want to do. But I I mean I I I obviously have to slip in and out of the camera, you know. But I made time because I appreciate talking to y'all. I appreciate reading the comments and all that stuff. So it's cool. I feel like we do like we do like little 
family stuff or when the girls go to bed, we, we might sit up and talk or watch movies or just lay in the bed and talk and catch up and do all that. I tell her about my day, she tells me about hers and what's going on in her world. And those are some of the, for real, for real, some of the best moments for, for me. I don't know about her. I have the couple's massage coming up. Yeah, she she been trying to get me to get people to rub on my back for like a month. I just ain't had, I haven't had the time. So that'll be in one of the vlogs. We'll vlog that where you have a two hour couple massage. It's gonna be fun. I don't know these people rubbing on my back, man. I feel like they're gonna be putting them hot stones. You know what I'm talking about? Them hot <laughs> stones on my back, not for it. <laughs> Next question. Next question. No baby number three. No, we're good. I think we're good. I mean, I'm not gonna rule it out. I ain't got snipped up yet or nothing like that. I don't know. But I feel like with the I mean any any child is a blessing and our kids are definitely nothing but a blessing. But the way the way the world is and as ugly as the world is, man, it's like bringing kids into the world. Right now, it's just a scary, scary thought. Like something scary to think about. So I don't know. Especially a, 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 a young black male. Even though I feel like I would, you know, it would be dope, but kids, whew, Devin. You would want a junior? Absolutely. <laughs> the world needs another Devin Beck. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Jesus. What is all these baby questions? We gonna practice. <laughs> we gonna practice for another one. I don't know, you know what I mean? My jumper might be off. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's hard to get away. Cause we, we, I feel like we all like being together, like in some strange, weird kind of way. We all, you know, we might get on each other's nerves, but we all like being together. Uh, I mean, it, it, it really isn't that much to, like I said, I, I'm not a doer of much, so it doesn't, you know, sometimes I feel bad for Yogi because I, I don't like going out, I don't like uh, being around a bunch of people like that, unless I'm performing or, you know, so, I don't know if she want to go out, she doesn't have to tell me, but, I'm not, I'm not super, like, oh, we need to be out amongst people. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but that's how I am. <laughs> no, I'm from Benton, Maryland. I know, probably because of the Sunni. You looking at the Sunni, Scorpio. November 9th. I ain't giving you the the year because you're going to try to figure out how old I am. Nah. Ever young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, wedding. Can I talk about the other, the other, the engagement? I can't talk about that engagement one where they was trying to go in on me. The what? No. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, the wedding. That went. When it comes to the wedding, it's like I, I, I've been to a, a couple of weddings or whatever, and I feel like it, everything was for everybody else and not the bride and the groom, you know what I mean? Um, there's nothing I would love more than just go somewhere and call her Miss Beck and us to ride off into the sunset. And that's, I'm ready. I'm ready for that. But, you know... It's like we're going we gonna to do something small for us and make it about us. And it's about our love. It's not about um, everybody else. It's going to be Devin and Yolanda for once. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, we got lucky. We got lucky. Um, I think with, with parenting, this stuff don't come with a handbook. I remember telling my dad like a couple weeks ago, I'm like, yo, Y'all had no idea what y'all was doing. Y'all just do what feels right, right? So we really, I came from uh, a household 
that was I mean it's nothing but nothing but a bunch of love um we had to keep everything that happened in our house in our house I couldn't go out and be like yo they was you know what I mean I we we kept everything in house and I feel like that's what we really building here even though we share <laughs> to the world or you know the the YouTube universe what's going on in here but this is really us and I think we got lucky with Taylor and Sky because they're both individually so dope. Like they they have so much personality and like they they love they love hard. You can tell like they really love us and and we really love them and we have a good time and I mean we have those those moments like we're not perfect. Like we definitely have those moments where where they get on our nerves or they do something like cause Taylor would do stuff sometimes and I just be looking at her like. You, I know you smart, but what are you doing? You know, <laughs> and so I think it, it's not about, and, and when it comes to parenting, it's not always about disciplining, like, where you got to hit them. I think if I can look at her and she knows I'm disappointed, I think that kind of means more than me putting my hands on her or something like that. And I don't, I don't want to do that. So I think it's a respect thing, and, and we teach them respect from the gate. So it's, it's more about respecting other people respecting yourself and then when we out they know not to act crazy like don't act up when you out because that draws a lot of attention to yourself and you don't want that type of attention and we and we always give them that positive feedback that positive reinforcement that you're doing the right thing or you doing you know you make that better than all that negativity and you don't tell your kids they're bad don't tell your kids they're bad do not say you're bad don't do it because that, that plants that seed in their head. Honestly, I don't know where I would be without her. Like, I don't know where I would be in my life without Yolanda Renee. <laughs> Soon to be back. I don't, I don't know. And, and we keep it, we keep it fresh by, like, I, I'm excited to, like, I called her today. I called her today just to tell her that I, I watched the vlog and she looked good. <laughs> like little stuff like that it's like it don't have to be it don't have to be grand gestures like I don't gotta send like 24 dozen roses here for her to know I love her like little stuff like that like you gotta give give them like little stuff to let them know that you you're thinking about them and, you know when I, I get excited to come home to see her I mean when I walk in the door I want to be here for 10 minutes before she asks me to do anything <laughs> but you know I'm excited to walk in the door and see her. Like I, I feel like when she looks at me, her face lights up, and that it does something to me. I never told you that, did I? Mm -mm. Yeah. We do be excited. Mhm. Mm Work at Sandy Hill Elementary School. I am a family and student liaison. I also do motivational speeches at various schools and in the counties, and it's been a a great ride. Like, I've, I've found my purpose. I live to inspire other people. So that's what I try to do daily. Yes, my brother Brent, Brent Beck. And you guys saw his nephew. Yeah, my nephew was here the other day. Sometimes if she asks me what's wrong and I say nothing's wrong, she keeps probing to see if something's wrong. There's nothing really wrong. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a recluse, so I'm quiet a lot. Even though y'all got me on here talking and all that. People already noticed that in the <clears> vlog. <throat> but then I'm quiet a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quiet. So I don't always, I don't always speak just to hear myself speak. Like there's got to be a reason or a point to why I'm talking. So sometimes when I'm quiet, she's like, what are you, what's wrong? And she keeps probing, thinking something's wrong. It's not really anything wrong. But honestly, 95% of the time it is something wrong. Yeah, but thank God for her because. Because you know, I know, I have that intuition. Think she got I do, Devin. Nah, <coughs> but <coughs> even if it's the smallest thing, I want to like, know. If I'm, before I get out of here, my food for thought. Um, you don't put toxic stuff in your body. We always stay away from toxins. Like you're not gonna just drink antifreeze. You're not gonna put your mouth on the back of a, a, a car. You know what I mean? So. Treat your mind the same way you treat your body. Um, if you got toxic people in your circle, get them toxic people out of there.
because people will try to pull you down with their toxic behaviors. They talking about other people, gossip and all that, give you stuff that you don't need. Keep that stuff out of your circle. Focus on what you got to focus on. And be great. Be great. Uplift somebody. As always, positivity will be the new wave. All right? That's my food for thought for the day. Make sure y'all take heed to what I'm saying. If you didn't get it the first time, rewind it. Play it back. It'll make sense the second time you hear it. All right? I'm out.